on an early spring day, I continue my journey on the Sichuan Plain with my new guide, Li Wei. He's been working in the architecture-related field for 25 years and is now engaged in the research, development and application of eco-friendly building materials. Li loves traveling. With his background, he's discovered many interesting and unique architectural styles during his journeys. This is the Egor's garden. The floor area of the residence covers about 600 square meters. It is where the past lives on. Bricks, tiles, wooden structures and stone sculptures, all age old, in fact hundreds of years old, as the owner explains. <laughs> Because Liao's home is an amalgamation of architectural styles of the past several dynasties. Old things are his passion, if not obsession. He started collecting building materials from demolished old houses in 2000. In the architectural world, the official building of each dynasty has its own operating system and standard. But due to different regions, climate, culture, financial and material resources, private structures normally present a more personalized style. Liao did the overall architectural design himself and hired workers to build it. It took him four years to finally establish his pastoral home. The estate gets its name from the more than 4,000 egrets that live here. Besides the private family quarters, there are four guest rooms with eight beds for those who really love the tranquility here. Why not build more guest rooms? It's all about love and respect, as well as his commitment to traditional culture and mother nature. Liao Chenfu and his family are dedicating their lives to the preservation of old buildings and environmental protection. On the way to our next destination is another of Li Wei's discoveries, a newly built B&B in the middle of nowhere. Lee says its exterior design uses typical Western Sichuan architectural style. 
and I'm happy that tradition continues. Today, CGTN, Guangxi, Sichuan Province.